Good morning, Barstow. I'm Mascot, more formally known as Luke Luma. And I'm Natalie. Well, Natalie, this is it. Our last show. You know, I'll try and do my best to keep it together for the next 10 minutes or so. Are you sad to say goodbye? You know, Luke, not really, not really, no. Oh, well, okay. Some of us are sad. Anyways, this is my last time saying it, so I better savor it. Roll that intro. Well, if it isn't sad enough, I'll make it worse. Here's the final exam schedule. Monday will be World Languages and Math, Tuesday will be History and Science, and Wednesday will be English. Good luck to everyone. Hope you all have been studying. Luke, do you have any finals? You know, I, I actually have no clue. Don't you think it's a little bit late for that now? Uh, that's not important right now, Natalie. We are here to reminisce on our time here. Roll the memories piece in the preschool photos piece, and someone throw me the tissues. Okay, so my favorite Barstow memory was coming to school for Halloween as Frozone and uh, sliding down this hallway. It was great. Madam Coventry was trying to turn on the projector and she took her keys instead of the remote and she was like clicking it and we're all standing there like, uh. AP Chemistry. Oh, yes. It is two days before the AP Chemistry test. Two days. There we are. Like we've had a year to prepare for this test. And here and comes Ryan. Ryan walks into Mr. Dominski's class and says, Mr. Dominski, what is an electron? Our trip to Boston in eighth grade. Um, that was I had just like recently arrived to Barstow coming from Boston. So it was cool to get that experience of being with my friends and having them go to a new city, but also getting to visit my city. Me and my friends, back for actually a year, we play a lot of Smash Bros. Melee. And in the sophomore years, they added a sign to the code that said, no video game play. Those pr precise words. Uh, and I bonded over that with a lot of people like Grayson, because it's just no video game play. Our favorite memory at the Barstow School was in fifth grade at the Washington, D.C. field trip. Uh, in our hotel room, uh... And we broke a lamp. And we broke an alarm clock. And then uh, we were always late. Uh, last ones to wake up, uh, Mrs. Culver walked into, uh, somehow got into our room, and we were all in bed, just in our underwear. The same bed. <laughs> it was three people in a bed just to watch Family Guy at night, and Michael Bay was in the other room because he was tired. <laughs> This is the seniors as children. Is it Missy? No. no. Okay. Uh, Don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, actually I have no idea. Yeah, no clue. I am. He looks like a little Mrs. Pagano. <laughs> it does. It does. I think the first one, Missy Rosenthal, but the eyes aren't dark enough. Natalie? No. Katie? Nope. I gave up. Aubrey? Yeah. Oh, Aubrey? That does not look like Aubrey. Oh my gosh. I didn't know she had glasses. No idea. <laughs> I don't know. Charnese? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I don't, I don't know. Oh, Charnese. Yeah, Is that Natalie? Uh, Hello. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to guess uh, Kate? Kate? Is okay. Kate. Okay. Oh. oh. See, Mr. Lucy. It's Mr. Lucy. Kate Walsworth? Elise. I like her hair. Oh, I have such cute hair when you're in lower school, like pigtails. <laughs> Elise. Oh, uh, I mean, whoever this kid is, he's he's the coolest kid in school. He's, he's got the flames on his collar. Uh, Brian Erlocker? Chicago Bears linebacker? No? Richard Bray. Oh, Richard Bray? That's gonna be Brian. Ryan, Ryan. Yeah, that's right. 
Ryan Mohammadi, who looks dead on himself. Katharina, oh my god, this is so cute. Yeah. Katarina Stacker. Uh, Katarina Staker. Let's see, is this one Francesca? Yeah. yeah. Francesca Morrow. Uh, Francesca Morrow. Francesca. Yay! Was I 100%? Yeah. yeah. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for that piece, Natalie, Susanna, and Brooklyn. It was simply beautiful. Elise, what's your favorite memory from BTVN? Well, there are just so many, I can't really name one. I've just enjoyed being able to host and make announcements, such as this one. The results from the National French Contest are in. Here they are. Congratulations to those who received an award. You all make our French program look really good. Felicitations. Well, you say that because you take French. I think our Spanish exam results make our program look even better. Here are the amazing results. That's a lot of awards there. Felicidades a todos. We'd also like to congratulate Francesca Morrow, who placed third in Missouri and won prize money. Hey, I see you got an honorable mention award for the Spanish exam. Yeah, I probably would have done better, but I was uh, too busy getting these gains, you know. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe Luke can help you out with his latest workout Wednesday. Roll it. Welcome back to our last edition of Workout Wednesday. Unfortunately, Bijan can't be here today. And it's not Wednesday, I know, it's Thursday, but we're gonna give you another one anyways. I'm joined today by Jill Gillen, going to Arkansas to play volleyball, and Sammy Matula, playing soccer at Creighton. They're gonna show me some workouts they do for their sports. We'll see if I can do it. Let's go. <laughs>
Thanks for that piece, Luke. It was really good. What did you think of the piece? Yeah, me too. Tomorrow we will be on an AM assembly schedule for the middle school honors and awards and PM assembly schedule for the senior video in the afternoon. That's right, AM and PM assembly schedule. It's also the senior's last day, so be sure to give someone a hug if they look like they need it. Good luck to baseball team who competes in their first game at districts tomorrow. Sam Short was voted first team all-conference, Luke Lopatowski got second team all-conference, and Michael Bay was voted honorable mention. Also, good luck to Richard Bray, who will be competing at the Boys Golf State Championship this Monday and Tuesday. Finally, remember, tonight is the sports awards ceremony at 6.30. Before we head to break, let's hear from Mr. Luce about the summer reads this year. Hey guys, this is Mr. Luce, uh, and I am here to uh, tell you what the summer books are for this summer. <clears throat> so, ninth grade, you get to go with uh, Scout and Jem and Dill with To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, and then also Walk Around New York with Holman Caulfield and Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Sophomores, you will read True Grit by Charles Portis, and We Have Always Lived in the Castle, both books featuring uh, very strong female protagonists, although what they're strong at may differ. Juniors, you will read The Road by Cormac McCarthy, as well as Colson Whitehead's uh, Wonderful Underground Railroad. Uh, 12th grade in college prep and honors, we'll read The Circle by David Eggers and Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, both dystopic novels. And AP seniors will read uh, Doug Wargle's Thin Blue Smoke, uh, and he will come and talk to us, as well as Sing Unburied Sing uh, by Jasmine Ward. So I hope you guys have a good summer. Uh, and you know, as always, you can actually read more than is required. Thanks so much. That's it for announcements. Let's head over to Richard to see what's popping one last time. If you got a story to tell, uh -huh. I guess all you need is a studio. If you got a product to sell, uh -huh. just make sure the business is booming though. So you know what the business is. Johnny Cage, when I grip a pen, you couldn't see you. Thanks, Ryan. Starting things off this week is some pretty big news. Dr. Kramer has announced his candidacy for president in 2020. His campaign is headed by his slogan of, y'all are going to fix that. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But now that I have your attention, the real President Trump announced on Tuesday that the United States will be pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal and impose sanctions on Iran. The 2015 agreement curbed Iran's nuclear activities in return for the lifting of U.S., U.N., and E.U. sanctions. The President has made no secret that he thought the agreement was a bad deal for the U.S., and it can't be all bad considering it limits nuclear weapon production. I don't know, it seems like a pretty big deal, but as usual, let's just wait and see what happens next. Hawaii's Big Island is in a state of panic right now, as the Kailua volcano has been erupting for days following a strong earthquake last Friday. So far, the volcanic flow has destroyed 35 structures and at least 12 fissures have formed. Since the earthquake on Friday, the Big Island has endured an average of one earthquake per hour, which have been felt in Hilo, Hawaii's second largest city. Not only does the lava itself threaten the island, but the high levels of sulfur dioxide released from the eruption can also be life-threatening. And finally, the news you've all been waiting for. World-famous SoundCloud rapper and Barstow senior Esso dropped his newest single, Chase, last week. He is expected to release a myriad of new songs in the future, but for now, let's just enjoy what we have. Well, it's with a heavy heart that I close out my final What's Poppin'. Hopefully someone after me can continue pushing the boundaries between appropriate and insensitive. Before we head out, let's take a look at some student-made advice for the departing seniors. Hello, my name is Luke Alexander Luma. I am Elise Finn. My name is Megan Alamachu. My name is Michael Bay. My name is Bianca Tucker. My name is Sophie Johnson. I've been here for 15 years, I guess. It's, yeah, preschool, so 15. This is my 15th year at Barstow. I have been at Barstow since pre-K. I've been going to Barstow since fifth grade. I came here in eighth grade. I've been at Barstow for about five years now. Probably the size. I also like the size of the grade as well. I feel like you can really connect with everyone. Probably the extracurriculars. Um, I love the robotics team, and this last year, 
especially on the golf team. Um, I've had a lot of fun. I know everybody says this, but probably the community. Probably the small like community. The small sense of community, how well you really get to know everybody around here. Barca has been like my home. I mean, I never thought about going anywhere else. I couldn't see myself at a larger public school, or even a larger private school. I got to be an individual here. I was able to express my own individuality and my own passion without being too criticized for it. At the end of the day, I just knew Barstow was my home and that I was just more comfortable with Barstow. So I decided to stick with Barstow and I feel like that was the best decision I made. I'm excited to graduate because College will be a very new experience for me. It's going to be hard to leave next year. But... I am happy and sad. It's really bittersweet. Oh, I'm so excited to leave. I want to go to college. <laughs> I'm so ready for college. Space out your time well. It's hard, but you can get through it. I don't know, just do your work. It's not the end of the world. You're going to leave eventually. And by the time you get to college or through college, you're not going to remember more than half the assignments or projects you stressed out about in high school. Try not to sweat the small stuff, all those tests and homework that you stress out about. Don't. Just have a good time and really make some friends and lots of memories because those are really what you're going to remember. From all the seniors here at BTVN, we would like to say thank you. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for coming to the auditorium every day to watch us. Thank you for recognizing our hard work. Thank you for paying attention to all the news. Well everyone, this is it. For one last time, I'm Ryan Mohammadi. I'm Elise Spin. I'm Luke Luma. I'm Natalie Beyer. And I'm Richard Bray. Keep, Keep it real, Barstow! Barstow.